what's going on everybody? Clickwood here with the Fantasy Football Swagger Show. Just want to talk to you guys about some news that we heard today regarding Rams rookie running back Todd Gurley. Now, Todd Gurley was a first round draft pick this year, obviously expected to be the running back of the future there in St. Louis. However, he is still dealing with the after effects of a torn ACL that he suffered toward the end of last season in college. Unfortunately, it does not sound like Todd Gurley is going to be able to play in the preseason. The coaches have come out and has essentially said that there's very little chance that he will be participating in the preseason games. So what does this mean for us? Well, it means a couple of different things. First of all, Todd Gurley obviously is not going to have a chance to play in real game situations with the first string offense. That puts him behind the eight ball, behind running backs such as Benny Cunningham, or more importantly, Trey Mason, who actually performed fairly decently given the situation last year for the Rams themselves. So basically what we're looking at here is a situation where Todd Gurley is going to miss the preseason, not get that experience with that first team offense. And then once he does get onto the field, we just don't know exactly, first of all, when that's going to be. But second of all, will he have that, that chemistry with the offense right away? It's hard to say. Most likely, probably not. Most rookie running backs don't step right in and perform at a high level. They don't play all three downs, and uh, they're not necessarily elite fantasy performers. But that hasn't stopped NFL drafters, for fantasy purposes, from drafting Todd Gurley as high as the fourth round. And in, obviously, in keeper leagues, he's going way, way higher than that. And in keeper leagues, you can kind of make more of a justification for it. But in this year, for 2015, if we're talking about redraft leagues, Todd Gurley is not somebody that I think is going to be worth that fourth round draft pick. There are other guys around that range that can give you similar type of upside, but do not carry the risk of Todd Gurley. So just keep that in mind as you're making your drafts. Another person to keep in mind and possibly bump up because of this news is Trey Mason. He's currently going around pick 100 on your average draft position board, which definitely means that you can get him late in your drafts. But I would still consider possibly bumping him up a couple of spots, especially if you're going to be combining him with somebody like Le'Veon Bell, for example. So, for example, if Le'Veon Bell is going to miss the first two weeks of the season due to suspension, it's possible that you might want to consider going with a Trey Mason as kind of a complement to Le'Veon Bell because we know for a fact that he will probably be the starter at least in week one and in week two most likely as well. Week three, four, five, it's going to get progressively more likely that Todd Gurley is going to be on the field and at least get some touches. But even still, once Gurley comes onto the field, there is a very good, very good chance that your Trey Mason pick is going to still give you some value there early in the year. It's also even possible, of course, that Trey Mason might explode and we might see Ty Gurley playing a complimentary role once he gets onto the field. You never know. So that's it for today's quick episode here of the Fantasy Football Swagger podcast, or I guess we're going to be calling it Fantasy Football Show. I don't know yet. We're, we're trying to decide exactly how we want to do this, guys. Let me know in the comments section below if you like these short little videos. Hope this helps you out. Don't overdraft Todd Gurley, and be aware also, like I said, to uh, slightly bump up Trey Mason on your list as well with this information regarding Gurley missing the, at least the preseason and possibly a few weeks of the regular season. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. But if you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.